Hello Semper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with at FrenchieStamps.com in the United States. Today I'm going to share a very simple but I think elegant um, card vintage with the ornate um, style stamp set. And I'm using um, the dies also called ornate layers. And I already pre-cut and I did I, this size here, the second from the biggest here, all the detailed one. So I die cut with basic black cardstock. Now, um, we're going to do it not color because I think I want to share that some people are not a fan of colorist, coloring. So don't be afraid to buy a detailed stamp set because they're detailed and you think you have to color. So we're going to do this here, no colors. So the way that I done that, for this size, uh, if you want to put the center, uh, the best size that I find, I try a few different uh, size there, I, and I find two and one eight by three and a half. Let's measure twice and cut once, two and one eight by three and a half. That's correct. I feel that is the the best size with very little border border there. Now, I, you know me, I like to go in my corner. Well, because this stamp set, it's a lot bigger than my piece of paper. So what I'm going to do is just take a piece of um, double-sided tape here, or you can even use a little piece of a uh, snail. That's perfectly fine. It's just that you want something that's going to go more in this to hold your paper more in the center. Also, normally I would say use your magnet, but this we cannot use the magnet because again, my stamp set is bigger than the whole piece of paper. Or you can start with a bigger piece and trim it. Well, I just use the piece I need. Now, I'm just placing that about, that I see a little bit on around here, the bottom, it's all full. Now, I'm going to close this, and now we're going to ink this with um, a memento. You're going to say, well, why not just using a clear block and stamping this? Well, I want my black to be very pronounced, very deep. So I want to ink it a few times. See the first one? It's kind of light, right? So I'm going to go back. And I think I went three times with the other one. That would be pretty good. I'm going to go just one more time. So between two and three times would be perfect. Two would be almost enough, but I want something that just jump at you. Now I'm going to use a dauber and normally I would uh, sponge that with um, crumb cake but just to speed up the process I decide I'm going to try with soft suede because I want it like old, like burn, dirty, whatever it's called. Now I'm just going to see now I can just peel that up here. Voila. Um, I wanted something more deep than a crumb cake. So I'm using soft suede. And that's what I done also on, let me remove this here. Here we go. That's what I done, well, I need my paper though, on all around the card. So now I'm gonna take my soft suede. And when you do this, all your card tight and put the pressure on it. Don't be afraid to really put the pressure when you uh, push. And you see, I don't go this way, I go on the side. So then I'm gonna have a very defined line around. Here, I'm just gonna go a bit. And then if you want to have deeper, like I did on my card, then when you get less ink, then you're gonna go this way. But the trick for this, it's really holding your card start tight and put the pressure on it. See, that really gets your vintage look going. Now, very simple, the rest of the card. 
I just uh, took this and I thought, oh, I'm going to put the frame with dimensional. Well, I choose not to. And I'm going to give you the reason why I choose not to. Because when I'm going to mail this, this is very, very delicate. I see one little hole here. Little. Here we go. Uh, it's very delicate, so if I raise it up higher, then I'm afraid it's going to bend my nice frame. So I just went straight down on my card base right here. Et voilà. So if you want to color, so if you're one that like to color, you can color it before you mount it. And I use the stamping blends on this. I um, I will list uh, the color that uh, I use. Not green. I this is um, pretty peacock um, mango. And in the center here. I use the, well, they're all full of wink of Scylla, I think you can see that. The center, I had it some shimmer paint. I thought that was cool. Then with the shimmer paint, I wanted to wait and do it live here, so I didn't have to do another one. I'm going to take my marker, this is soft suede, and I'm just going to add my little dot in the center. And you know what, maybe uh, even... Early espresso, yeah, early espresso, darker, and then you can add your little dot, and with that shimmer paint, it really make it striking. See? So that's more crank it up a notch, I see, when you color. And then I said, well, maybe people um, would like just to pop something. So we got this one, just plain, no coloring. This one, I stamped just the top flower on piece of very vanilla and I color that with the crumb cake blends. When I mean color, very gentle. Now we can take dimensional. Let me take two dimensional. We're going to put one right here and then we're going to put another one right here. And also after I did the dimensional, you can see I get just a little bit of Wink of Stella that I flicker. And Wink of Stella, if you're not sure, it's this uh, shimmer paint. Uh, it's kind of a shimmer paint that in a very lovely little brush. That's the Wink of Stella. Okay, now let me close that. And when you, oops, this one, come here. When you do uh, blends and you want to pop out or even uh, glue it, the back of it, no matter what, it's going to get, um, it's going to um, sink through. It's going to go through the paper. And it's kind of um, wet, but not really wet because it dry fast. You want to wait a little bit before you glue it. If not, it seems the glue won't absorb with that. It's alcohol-based marker. So you want to let it dry completely. Now I'm going to put this one right here. So see, it's just add a little bit of something. So now you get three different ones. You can see which one you like better. And really... And this is absolutely no coloring. So if you don't like coloring, I think that is still very lovely. Just a little bit of color and, of course, fussy cut. And uh, then you get the one with all the colors. So that is a little uh, vintage with the Ornit Style stamp set. All the supplies, all the measurement and uh, color will be listed on my blog. Below you get the direct link or above in the eye. Thank you so much. Oh, I should have said this is uh, oops, um, four and a quarter by 11 score at um, five and a half. And you can see I all sponge heavy with my dauber. I think that adds quite a bit to the card. Again, thank you so much for your support. For all your stamping up product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com where you can shop 24-7. Till next time, happy stamping my friend. Bye-bye for now.